you start running a respectable business and I won't have to come in here harassing y'all. Know what I mean? I ain't no cowboy. I'm just a working man. Just got off work. Checked the mailbox. Got my safety stuff, whatever, bright yellow so people don't run over me with big pieces of equipment. Checked the mailbox and I got something in here that I really want to open. So uh, let's, uh, let's see what it is. I'll tell you what it is. I ain't a cowboy, but I do know a thing or two about the 80s. I lived 10 years of my life in the 80s. Uh, in fact, I kind of developed and grew and almost became a man in the 80s. Not quite, I was still a punk kid when the 90s rolled around, but I thought I was a man. I got a book here about the 80s. So let's see what it is. This one uh, I could have ordered from the uh, uh, directly from the, the publisher, but I had a big order already ready to roll with Amazon, and I decided to uh, just add this on and get it in. Naturally, Amazon, you never know how they're gonna do it, but they shipped it separately. I, I worry a little bit about Amazon when I order books from there. This time the packaging looks pretty good, and let's see how it worked out. They, uh, they did me a whole lot better than they have before. I've gotten books from Amazon where you got a book and a box. The book's this big, the box is this big, the book slides all around and gets beat up, busted up, mangled up. This one's packed pretty tightly, so hopefully it's not, uh, not damaged. A book about the 80s, I said, which I know very much about. This book, however, I know very little about. Attack from the 80s, edited by Eugene Johnson. Uh, this book, I would have never known anything about except for a, uh, a neat person named Jojo Ann on the Joe Lansdale Facebook uh, collecting group, whatever it's called, I forgot the name. My phone takes me there automatically, so I don't gotta remember things like that. She posted a picture of this um, showing it off and I said what is that so I looked it up found the link uh, shared the link on there and then I ended up ordering it from Amazon so uh, my hypocrisy knows no bounds put my cowboy hat on again it apparently my hypocrisy knows no bounds that's Doc Holliday uh, from Tombstone back to working man again but this, uh, this book's got stories from quite a few authors that I do like, so I ordered it up, and um, it goes along with something that I'm seeing pretty often lately, and I think this is what they call library binding. It, it, it went away, it seems like it went away for a while, but it's back. It's back, and I like it. I think it looks cool. And in some regards, it reminds me of my kidhood, childhood in the 80s. Uh, in the library on the uh, the book the book uh, what was it called the book truck the book van they come and they brought a bunch of books a book fair and you'd see stuff like this sitting on the shelf quite a bit but I like it uh, no dust jacket but you got artwork on the book itself so it, it still looks great and uh, it's something that that is pretty uh, I like it pretty neat to me um, but anyway the the cover art on this book by itself is probably good enough for me to buy it. But then you add in stories from authors that I really dig. Let's, uh, let's take a look at, at, uh, at some of these authors. By the way, I didn't say it. Um, uh, it comes from Raw Dog Screaming Press. Raw Dog Screaming, that's right there. If you don't believe me, that's it. Raw Dog Screaming Press. Now, how could you not buy a book from a company called Raw Dog Screaming Press. I like it. I mean, I, I like it no matter what the book is. Give me one of their books. I need a Raw Dog Screaming Press book shelf, perhaps. I'll have to take a look and see what kind of stuff they got. But uh, if they look like this, and with a name like that, I'm in. But anyway, the book is called Attack from the 80s. I like the 80s. I like to go back there. As an adult, I, I was a kid. You don't have as much freedom. Uh, you have Sometimes you have more freedom as a kid. That's why I like the 80s so much. Growing up in the 80s, I had a lot of freedom. I ran around all over the woods. I ran around all over the town. 
and I came and go as I pleased. My kids don't get the freedom I got uh, today that I had in the 80s, and I, I feel bad for them. But hey, way it goes. So back to uh, back to the book. We got stories from uh, uh, Joe R. Lansdale and Casey Lansdale. Maybe that's why Jojo Ann was uh, was sharing this book. Snapshot was the name of that that story there. Um, other notable authors that I recognize: Thomas F. Montalone, Taking the Night Train. Um, John Skip, hey, I've seen that name floating around before. Your Picture Here by John Skip. Uh, Tim Wagner, Slashbacks. Stephen Graham Jones. Stephen Graham Jones, I like this. Uh, I like this fellow named Stephen Graham Jones. I got a couple stories here. The Only Good Indians and Mongrels. And I've got one on the other side over there. Um, my heart is a chainsaw, something like that. Gosh, my memory's bad and my eyesight's almost as bad. I got some Stephen Graham Jones books, and I got some of them books, SGJ books on Z-Way. Hopefully they'll be in my mailbox before too awfully long. Um, just going on down the list, other authors that I recognize. Jeff Strand, Ghetto Blaster, 80s, no doubt. You know what a Ghetto Blaster is? big uh, jam box type radio you hold on your shoulder like this and play it really loud so people all over the neighborhood could hear it not in my neighborhood uh, they didn't put up with that kind of junk lots of freedom but ghetto blasters jam boxes that uh, weren't, weren't too popular in the backwoods where I came from another one that I really dig um, if I'm a collector of anybody it's F Paul Wilson F Paul Wilson top to bottom and a whole bunch of anthologies featuring F Paul Wilson's work all over the place so uh, f paul wilson's cool with me when he was fab by f paul wilson uh this one here based on the uh the, the title welcome to hell by christina sing sng i don't know if that's right or not sng sing sing uh, christina uh if i'm saying your name wrong i'm sorry if it's not sng i'm sorry but that's what i see here if it is I'm sorry, sorry, Mr. Sorry, that's me. Um, oh, uh, uh, journal, perspective, journal of a 1980s madman by Mort Castle. Sounds cool to me. And then uh, Grady Hendrix, Stranger Danger. Man, that's the first time, uh, that's when the Stranger Danger stuff really started coming around was in the 80s. A kid named Adam Walsh was abducted and in my lifetime that was the first time i ever even considered the fact that adults were gonna be bad and maybe do bad things to kids for so for me adam walsh uh, and that story changed the world um but anyway stranger danger by grady hendrix and again grady hendrix is one um sst is pumping out a lot of grady hendrix stories I've got a horror store. I've got the four book bundle, which that was a part of ordered. And then uh, the new one, uh, um, another one was just uh, announced, which I ordered as well. And I don't remember the title of that one. But anyway, Grady Hendrix, cool dude, like that one. And then uh, Lisa Morton, The Garden of Dr. Moreau by Lisa Morton. And it includes biographies, I'm assuming biographies of the, uh, of the authors included. Let's see, it looks like I got some pictures. Let me pull up a few before I get, oh man, that one. I was gonna show you a picture. I don't know what kind of art you like, what kind of pictures you dig, but I dig this, man. This is tattoo stuff here. Get that tattooed on your shoulder or your back or somewhere else. Nah, and you show it to me, I'm gonna say, hey man, cool tattoo. Or hey, hey lady, ma'am, hey ma'am, cool tattoo, I dig it. I wasn't staring at your chest. No, I wasn't staring. I was looking at your tattoo. Trust me. Uh, another, this one feels 80s. Can you see it? I don't know. I don't know. I know nothing about lighting or cameras or talking or anything like that. But that picture to me feels 80s. Almost reminds me of Mr. Max Headroom and his commercials and his short-lived TV show. Let's see if I can find one more picture before I give up on the, the picture goose. Oh, some fruit and a razor and uh, some stuff, other stuff. But uh, this Raw Dog Screaming Press Edition 
of Attack of the 80s, edited by Eugene Johnson, a Bram Stoker award-winning editor, goes on my shelves directly, and I'm glad to have it. I recommend you buy it. The price is, uh, it's not cheap, it's not expensive. I don't remember how much it was. Maybe 30 bucks, I can't remember. But if I went back in time, talk to terrific from a week ago i'd say hey bud buy the book it's pretty cool you're gonna like it so that's my story for today um i'm not a cowboy just a working man wearing a working man's garb buying a working man's book and as far as i know that's all i got for you so say la vie baby hasta la vista oh i got the kid over here again name's roman he said like him told me to like and subscribe so like me subscribe me whatever that means